Hello everyone. Uh, today we'll discuss a very important topic, which is creating a job in Oracle database. So in the software development, uh, uh, several times we come into a situation where we are doing a repetitive task, which is which we are, we are doing manually. So rather doing them manually, we can write uh, jobs which will run again and again and do the task what we have configured in them. So if you have uh, a database over 10 G, so it's very easy to create a job in Oracle database as they have given a set of packages with procedure and function, which makes it very easy to write a job and uh, set a frequency, which it will run accordingly. So in this video, we, I'll, I'll tell you how to create a job, uh, run it and then how to monitor a job if it's running fine or not. So let's start. So the first thing to make a scheduler job is we need to know uh, what is a repetitive task we are doing. And secondly, what is the frequency of that task? I mean, how, how we have to run it. If you have to run it daily or after two days or hourly or within 10 seconds or within 15 seconds. So uh, I'll create a, a table activity logs, uh, which will have a log ID and creation date. So I have set of some queries which I've written already so that we can complete it quickly. So first we'll create a table activity logs. So now table is created. This is how we are creating a job. So what we are doing in this job is we are just inserting some values in, in the table activity logs, which we have just created and giving its ID and a system date. So DBMS scheduler has a procedure called create job. We will accept all these parameters and it will initiate a job according to the frequency, which you have given. Let's suppose let's go through all the parameters. Uh, uh specified here job name is the name of the job which you want to give it let's say i've given a first job here job type is very important it is currently pl sql block so you can also have a procedure you can have uh, other uh, even a java file which will execute through this job or any other things so there are several other things which you can do through this scheduler job third thing is job action so here we have PL SQL block. So what I have done is I have written a PL SQL block here. What it's doing is it's getting the current rows in the activity logs table and then inserting the uh, inserting one row with the count plus one and sys state. So it's a pretty simple query which I have uh, taken here for example so that I can make things easy. Now to start date is the is a time when you have to start this procedure. So I've taken is this this uh, timestamp is the current timestamp of my system. Repeat interval is again very important. It I have uh, given a frequency of five seconds. So you can you can set frequencies monthly or you can set it hourly and you can give a specified interval. So this job once created, it will it will run this PL SQL block every five seconds. So this is what this uh, job will do. And by default, uh, I have enabled it. So if you won't enable it, it by default, it will be false. So you have to again manually enable this job. So I have uh, in my procedure, it's in my scheduler itself, I have enabled it. So let me execute this. So let me show you once that initially now my table is empty before creating this job. What is my name? Activity logs. See, initially this table is empty. Let me create this job. So my job is created now. So you'll see in every five seconds, there will be one entry added into this activity logs 
automatically. This all is done by the Oracle database server. So once you've created a job, given its frequency and configured what it has to do, your job is done. So now you, your job is to monitor it. So they are a, a set of tables given by Oracle itself from which you can monitor how your job is running or not, if it's failing or it's getting success or whatever it is happening. So let's see the table now. So if I see, you see, uh, there are set of entries uh, uh, going inserting in it. So every five seconds, you will you'll see one one entry, uh, one more entry in this table. So now it's it's eleven. So next time I'll do it after ten seconds or twelve, fifteen seconds. It will increase. So this is how this is how the job is created in Oracle database. So it's pretty straightforward and simple. So now next thing we, uh, which is important is how to monitor these jobs. So there are a set of tables. Uh, the very important one is these two only, which are mostly used. Let's run each of them and says, this will show you uh, whether your job is created successfully and some other information. So here I think my job name is not correct. Let's okay, this first job. So let's give it first job and run it. Okay, it's it's all running jobs. So better it will it find in this table so you'll see uh, i have taken some rows from this tbs scheduler job log and you'll see uh, uh, the date where it's running its status succeeded so there from these tables you can monitor all the information about the jobs which you are running also in this table i think should be there because it's currently running okay so i think i have don't have the privileges okay it should be from this not uh, all from tb scheduler jobs so yeah so basically these two uh, tables are important for this DB scheduler jobs. It will see uh, what is the job name, what is a job type, job action. So what are you have given in the job? It will go into this table, and then uh, uh, you can uh, use this table to see when was the last your job was currently, uh, I mean successfully run. So you'll see. Uh, it's a current date and first job job the name. So there are other parameters as well, but these are the important one which has taken in the select query. So by this way you can uh, monitor your jobs. So it's pretty straightforward, and and Oracle has given a wonderful set of packages and procedures to execute them. So what you have to have in your mind is first a set of tasks which you have to do it repetitively, and secondly the frequency you want to do it. So if you have two these two things in mind, so it will take it would not take much effort from you to create a job. So thank you for watching and please subscribe my channel. Thank you.